Hi guys! Welcome to Weekly Vlog 15. I've finished uni! Oh my god, I'm so happy right now. I have finished uni. I'm so, oh my god, like, it still hasn't really sunk in properly. Like, I still feel like I need to party. Which basically cons consists of me having a cup of tea because I don't really party. But still, like, I feel like I need to celebrate. But I am going to be celebrating it. Just haven't celebrated it yet. Like, oh my god, I'm so excited. Basically, I should explain. It's Wednesday. Um, Monday was my last exam and Tuesday was my last assignment hand in. I actually handed my assignment in on Monday. I was in the library till about 10 o'clock. I wanted to just get it done rather than doing it on Tuesday. So I could just wake up on Tuesday and be like, I finished uni and that's what I did. I stayed at the library till around mm, 10 o'clock, which I don't think is too late. Um, I just wanted to get it out of the way. So I did, I submitted it. It was the best feeling in the world. It was weird though, it affected me differently to how I thought it would. I kind of came out of the library and I was like, this is the last time I'm going to be in the library and this is the last time I'll be driving home late from using the library and I was like, I don't know, it was weird. I didn't expect to feel like that. It wasn't that I miss it because I don't. It was just weird that it was the last time because you guys, if you've been following me a while, know that I don't like uni. So I wasn't sad, it was just weird that that end had finally come because I've been waiting for it for so long. I've been expecting it and I always say oh when I finish uni or when I'm finished uni I'm gonna do this or after uni I'll be doing this and it's happened. I've finished uni. It finally has happened. Like it's sunk in a lot quicker than I thought it would basically. I think the final exam and assignments was so big and important that I didn't have a chance to think about it and then all of a sudden I was finished. So I came home Matthew was in bed because he was in work the next day, so I couldn't really be like, Matthew, because he, he was asleep. I mean, I tried because obviously I was excited, but he wasn't really waking up, bless him. He, he, he was trying to show his proudness, which he did. He was like, well done, but he was like asleep. So then the next day, Tuesday, yesterday, I kind of was quite feeling crappy, like with my MA, like mentally, I was like, oh my God, I finished uni. But MA wise, I was like, I'm really tired from being in the library all day and just revising for days straight has finally hit me. So yesterday I was kind of starting to put in things in motion for my Disney business. If you've been watching me for a while now, you'll know that a couple of months ago I tried to start up a Disney business. Um, I'm trying to like get things together, but it had to go on hold while I was focused on uni for a while. So I was doing a bit of that yesterday just while I was sat on the sofa because I could like just chill out and try and make myself feel a bit better and everything I need to do is kind of online at the minute. So I was doing that and then I edited the weekly vlog and got that up. So I was chuffed that that only went up a day late considering I had an assignment and an exam due. And then I had a doctor's appointment. I wanted to talk to you properly and be like, oh my God, I've finished uni. But suddenly the doctor's appointment was upon me and the camera was actually out of charge so I thought I'll just go to the doctor's and I'll talk to you when I get back and then I ended up going for a tour view with my nana and my sister and I thought you know what like why don't I just take today off and get myself feeling better so I can really appreciate being finished uni and talk to you guys tomorrow which is today. So that's what I did. I went to the doctor's and then I went to the Toby which is a restaurant with my nana and my sister and then I came home. It was around eight o'clock and as per usual I was knackered and crashed and just went to bed. So today I'm feeling a lot better. I finally had a lie in and um, I just didn't, I couldn't sleep yesterday. I was so eager off the day before. So I finally had a good lie in today and I've woke up and I feel so much better. I'm not doing anything today. I don't have to be at the doctors or anything. So I'm really just taking in that I've finished uni and it's just amazing. The feeling is, it's kind of scary because it's like, what do I do now? It's time to adult. But, it, and everything I've been putting off because I was like, I'll do it when I finish uni. I'll do it when I finish uni. Well, now there's no excuse. I've finished uni so I can do everything and it's scary but it's amazing. It's such a weird feeling. I should mention as well that when I got in last night it was the first time I seen Matthew since submitting my assignment because he was in bed when I came home on the Monday night. Woke up yesterday morning, Tuesday morning, and he'd gone to work. So I got in last night from seeing my nana and my sister and going to the doctors and he put up a banner for us. There was a there was a balloon as soon as I walked in the door. I'll show you it. We'll go downstairs and I'll show you. So as soon as I walked in, there was a balloon at the door and I was like, what on earth? And he was like, yay, well done, congratulations. Like, he's really proud of me. And I went into the sitting room and he'd got me flowers and put up a banner and everything. Bless him, he's so cute. So that was the, kind of the first time I was like, oh, because I hadn't really been able to speak to anyone like 
it was like one o'clock well it was like it was like 10 o'clock so by the time I got home it was like 11 o'clock and then yesterday I was in the house all day on my own just trying to recover like most people were out on my course drinking and celebrating and I had their me so I was like I need to recover and have time to process this so that's kind of today like I've had a good sleep I feel a lot better I'm still a little bit kind of like you know it's going to take a little while to get myself back to being well I'm never really 100% but doing the revision and the exams the stress was quite you know and I spent a lot of time on it so but to, but yeah just seeing Matthew last night was the first time I had a chance to be like oh my god I'm finished with someone so then once I'd spoke to him about it and we talked about it and stuff then I put it on social media I've put like I've finished uni on social media and then everybody was really just being wonderful and all the messages and comments I've had thank you everyone so much if you've messaged me and um, just saying you know like well done for, for finishing uni I appreciate it so much it was nice to know that people are really generally supporting me so I haven't really had like a celebration because everyone I know is at work my sister my little sister's at work um, my mum and dad are at work. I seen my nana yesterday and my other sister is like heavily pregnant so me and her can't really go out and celebrate. The way I would celebrate by the way when I keep saying I need to like celebrate is either just getting all my friends together like for a meal or having people around for a barbecue but with me finishing on a Monday everybody's kind of busy and my sister's like heavily pregnant so she can't even really walk around the shops. So Matthew finishes his placement tomorrow and then he has two kind of hand in assignment exam things um, and then he's finished so he's not finished for another week and a half. So we're going to have a big barbecue after he's finished um, and have like a celebration of me and him finishing uni. Anyway, I'm going to go downstairs and I'll catch you guys in a bit. So when I came in yesterday from like the doctors and everything like I said it was the first time I'd really properly seen Matthew since finishing because when I got in he was in bed and when I woke up he'd gone to work so I came in and literally at the front door was this helium pink balloon hello good day are you proud of mommy for finishing uni ah he's so excited how cute is Matthew though bless him he was he came downstairs and he was like well done darling so he got me this balloon and then I came in the sitting room and he put this banner up, which is just so me. It's a colourful banner. So that was great. I was like, oh, bless him so much. Because he just got in from work as well and he had so much work to do for today. For why he had to give a presentation at work today. He tidied downstairs and hoovered as well so that I didn't have to do anything when I came in. And he got me these flowers, which I absolutely love. So it was all nice and tidy and clean and hoovered and then flowers. Just the best boyfriend ever. So thank you so much, Matthew. He's really been the only one who has been around since I finished uni. So it was nice to know that he was like appreciating and just congratulating me and it was just really nice. So thank you, Matthew, because I know he watches all of my vlogs, bless him. He's very supportive. Little baby's so tired. Are you tired? He's been really sleepy today. Like if he's followers on Instagram, I've been posting pictures of him. He's been flat out. It's been it's hilarious and it's cute. Uh -huh. I don't know why he's so tired. Hey guys, it's Thursday. I'm in the best mood ever. Like, I'm in such a good mood today. Like, ugh, I just feel like on top of the world right now. Like, I finished uni. I have finished uni. Like, it's really starting to sink in now. I'm having just the best time at the minute. Like, just mentally, it's just such a great feeling. I'm sorry I didn't get back to you last night. I suddenly just got really tired from doing, like, emails all day and stuff. Really didn't do anything interesting. I think Matthew was making cookies. I might have showed you that. And then, yeah. I think, oh, we watched Gravity. Um, I'd never seen it before. It was alright. It's worth a watch. It's quite a slow movie. Um, it's definitely worth a watch if you haven't seen it before. So we watched Gravity and then we went to bed. So today I spent the day replying to emails to do with like, I suppose you could say being online influencer. So like company emails, like when brands mess email me basically, I've had quite a few email me over the last couple of weeks. Obviously I'm the world's most grateful person right now because, oh my God, get my boogie on. I got an email this morning from a company, oh my God, that like, whoo, I was actually crying. Let me put it that way. 
I can't believe they emailed me. There's two companies who I've always said are goals for me if I ever get to work with them. Company number one, if Disney ever email me, then I will lose my rag. Seriously, I will lose, I will lose everything. It will be like, oh my goodness. Like, for whatever reason, just to go to a blogger event or whatever, if they ever email me, like, I don't even know what I'll do. And the other company, I'm pretty sure you can guess. So I've only had the initial email, so I don't want to say things in case things don't happen. Um, or, I don't know, if it was a mistake and they didn't mean to email me. I've been invited to one of their kind of blogger press days, you could say. So I really don't know how much I'm allowed to say because I suppose I'm going to be vlogging it, like I'm going to the event. But I don't know if you can release images of what you see while you're there until they're out in stores, if that makes sense. So I'm not really sure how it works. Like I said, it was just an initial email. So I best not, you know, say anything. But oh my god, like guys, think about it, right? My two favourite stores, Disney and, like, you know who it is, guys, come on, you know. So, I got an email off them this morning. Oh, my God. So, I've already booked my train tickets and hotel. It's not this week, but the next. Um, me and Matthew are going to go down to London and, oh, my God, I, like, I was crying. I, like, the email came up um, on my updates on my phone and I was like, hmm? Because I've seen, like, the, um... I seen like the what's it called the the message like when you get an email you have to give it like a title or something or like a note so people know what it's about that like popped up on my notifications on my phone I was like ah, I must have read that wrong and I went onto my emails and opened my emails and I was like oh my god so yeah that happened this morning so I'm in the best mood ever like I've had quite a few amazing companies just messaging me and it's like oh my god so this is so cool right when I'm finishing uni it's just what I need I'm so grateful and I'm in the best mood ever if you can't already tell so that was basically my morning just going through emails sorting stuff out for going down to London so um I'm going to be going down not this week coming but the week after question now um I don't know if I'm going to be allowed to feature what I see at the event in the weekly vlog until I know more about it. I've literally just had an initial email on I'll know is that I'm going. I am going. I might have to put it in a separate like vlog away from my weekly vlog if it's not allowed to be released when my weekly vlog is released if that makes sense like every Monday. So if I am allowed to release it in the weekly vlog like what I see while I'm there because obviously I'm going to vlog it. Do you guys want it in a separate like London vlog or are you happy just to see it in the weekly vlog? That's assuming I'm allowed to just show you. I might not be allowed to show you. I have no idea. I don't know how press days work. I've only been to a handful and normally when I go to press days it's stuff that's being released whereas this is um, something for that's coming in the future sort of thing. So yeah I'll let you guys know more but let me know if you want to see it in the weekly vlog when I go down to London or if you want a separate vlog in which case I'll record more and make it longer. Just let me know. But that was my morning, just replying to like company emails, getting way too excited. Uh, I need to sort out a software system. Um, my friend's going to come over hopefully one day the beginning of next week and get that sorted. I was going to get a camera tonight, but it's out of stock in the shop at Metro Centre, so that's annoying. Um, but I'm going to go in and have a look anyway and see if they know when they're getting them back in. So I'm going to head to Metro Centre now. Um, I'm just going to nip into my nana's and then I'm going to nip to Metro Centre. I need to get some foundation. I've run out some deodorant. I've run out. Honestly, it's so weird not wearing deodorant. Like, I never let it get this bad, like, running out of things completely. Like, I'm always one of those people that has backups of things. But because I've been doing exams, I haven't had time to buy things. So I need to get my beauty stuff, really. I've run out of a lot of things. Like, I'm going to head to Metro Centre. Uh, I'm going to go, like, now. It's around 6 o'clock. I won't know. It's about quarter to 6. So Matthew finishes at half 7. So he's going to meet me at 8 o'clock. So I'll probably get to Metro, like, an hour before him. Um, like I said, I want to do some shopping. I may as well do it before he gets there. Because when he gets there, the shops will only be open for an hour. And I don't want to be rushing around. So I'm going to head to Metro now and get all the things that I've run out of. Probably go to Disney store, obviously. Go to Primark. And then I'll be going to Barbarito. Because Barbarito is like my favourite place to eat in the world. You guys know I love burritos. And then me and Matthew are going to go and see the new Guardians of the Galaxy movie. So I'll take you guys along with me and I'll see you when I get to Metro Centre, probably. Okay guys, I've made it to Metro. I was only in my nana's like mm, 20 minutes. Um, Basically, I just went to pick up a couple of things. One of them being this. 
Now, if you've been following me for a couple of weeks, then you'll know what it means when I have one of these tubes. They're normally blue. Um, I got one in my Christmas haul and I gave two away in my last giveaway, although my giveaway was announced right in the middle of my exams. So two of the winners have gotten back to us and they know that I'm going to be sending the, the presents, like the prizes out um, in the next week because I needed to finish uni and I need to package them all up and everything. So they've been very understanding. But one person hasn't gotten back to me. The second prize winner has not claimed her prize. So if she doesn't do that in the next couple of days, I'm going to do like a live Instagram and give it away to someone else because she's had plenty of time. So there might be someone out there that was more like, oh my God, I want to win. And checked regularly so you know it's been a co I've, I've announced many times and it's been a couple of weeks now since the giveaway finished so I'm probably gonna have to give it away to someone else I've, I've tried contact now and she's just not replying and so, anyway the point was I went to my Nana's to get this I haven't even looked at it myself I know what it is but I haven't looked at it so I'll have a look at this tomorrow when I get home and stuff I also had a really amazing package come today which I'll show you that tomorrow as well um a Disney package so I was oh my god it's got some amazing stuff in it I'm gonna go in now and hopefully I will be able to get everything I need before Matthew gets here and yeah I'll show you guys what I can
Friday. Um, it just probably seems like a really weird setup, but basically, let me explain. So, last night, me and Matthew went to Metro Centre, which was Thursday. Um, it was a bit more rushed than I thought. I didn't even get a chance to go into Primark. The shops were shutting within like an hour and a half of me getting there. So I thought I was going to be there way before Matthew and get all my bits and bobs done. And then all of a sudden Matthew rang me. Like literally I got there, went to the loo. And then Matthew rang me and he was like, I'm here. And I was like, oh, oops. So I met Matthew. Um, we went to a couple of shops. Obviously I had to go to Disney store. I didn't actually get anything. I was looking to see if they had the new cups in. I needed to get like my uh, foundation, my like my powder I'd run out of, deodorant, just stuff like that. So it was just kind of one of those. Um, and then before I knew it, it was nine o'clock and we were supposed to have seen the half eight movie, but there was another one at half nine. So we quickly got a burrito and then went to the movie at half nine. So I didn't even get a chance to go to Primark. We had a couple of, like we had a look in a couple of stores. Like we went to some game stores because me and Matthew are finishing uni. Um, like I finished and Matthew is finishing soon. So we kind of want to get some new games for us both to play at the same time for on our consoles because it's just something nice for us to do after we finish uni because we never really get a chance to do that. I know we did it the other week on my um, vlog, you'll have seen us both playing Halo, but honestly that is the first time in a long time that we've both had the time to do that. And truth be told, Matthew's not a big fan of Halo, so he wants some new games. I love Halo, so it hurts to say that, but Matthew doesn't really like Halo that much. Like, he likes it, he just can't play it for hours on, it, on end, like I can. So anyway, it's actually quarter past nine at night on Friday, and I feel really bad about that, but I have a very good explanation. So I think one of the reasons why I felt like really weird and like I still had a lot of stuff to do, I don't know if I mentioned that, but obviously I was really excited for finishing uni, but I also had a lot on this week. So I've had like doctor's appointments and just things that needed sorting out this week that I've been putting off. And today I had to do a lot of those. I had two appointments um, just to do with my ME, like nothing for you guys to worry about. Um, so today's been quite a long day, like... I don't really have any makeup on, I'm back in my pyjamas, like I've been out, just appointments, so it was just really boring, nothing to film, I wasn't going to put makeup on to go like for appointments for my ME and stuff. So it's just been a really long kind of boring getting things done day, and it's weird because it's like I was really excited to finish uni, um, and I am still really like oh my god, but th there's just that added sense of extra R to do because now I've got a lot more stuff out the way this week. I've still got a lot of things to organise to do with like YouTube and my Disney business but there was just some things needed doing this week that I've managed to get past so I'm really happy that those are done too. Are you okay? Are you gorgeous? The rabbit's just sat down there. So anywho, um, I didn't want to not do anything today because like I realised last week's vlog was pretty boring stuff um, and with me being like busy with uni it's been boring. So, I have three packages that I want to open with you guys. Um, one of them I've opened because I had no idea what it was and I was like, what is this? And it's got my name on it. So I was really like, what on earth? Um, so I opened it and it is a Disney package of a lovely girl. Um, she told me she was sending it, but it, she told me like two weeks ago because it's come from like another country, so it's took a while. So that's absolutely amazing and I'll show you that tomorrow. And I've got something that I've ordered from Disney Store, which came a lot quicker than it normally does. And I'll show you that tomorrow as well. I haven't opened that. I know what it is, but I haven't opened it. Um, but I thought I'd show you one package tonight. I would show you all three packages tonight, but it is really late and I've had a long day and I'm absolutely knackered. And I was, like, I was just going to show you all three packages tomorrow. But I'm kind of just really, I'm tired, so I don't want to show all three tonight. But I didn't want to show you, like, just do nothing with yours today. Like, I don't like doing that. I like to try and make the effort with my vlogs. So, we're going to open this package that came today. It's got Disney stuff all over it. It looks amazing. I can't really show you because it's got my address on the front. Um, I know who this is from, so I'm really excited to open it. So I thought we would open this together now. Basically, if you've been following me a few weeks, you'll know that maybe two weeks ago, I got um, some shoes from Magical Dreams Inc. Um, from the lovely Jo. And me and Jo message each other quite a lot on Instagram. She's absolutely lovely, bless her. I told her she didn't have to send us anything else, but she said she wanted to, so... Um, I'm pretty sure this is off Joe. It says Joe on it and it's got like, well, it's got Disney all over it. So, um, yeah, she said that she was going to paint me a cap. So, um, she made me the Mulan and Rapunzel shoes. And if you watched the other week, me and her 
kind of designed the shoes together. She said, I want to paint you some shoes. I chose Mulan and Rapunzel and we went over some ideas. And this time she said, do you want a bag or a cap? And I was like, honestly, you don't have to send us anything. But she was quite insistent, bless her. She really wanted to send me something. So I was like, well, a cap. I've got a lot of bags, so I don't have a lot of caps. And I really have been thinking about getting like a pastel pink cap for over the summer. So she said she would paint me a cap. And I said, why don't we go for a villains kind of theme? So she says she's painted me a cap. And she did send me a picture as well, so I kind of know what it looks like. But uh, yeah, I'm really excited. Oh my god! Oh, this sort of thing gets me so excited. I hope you can see that. But like, it's just got like the princess's stickers on. To Sarah, thank you so much for showing off my shoes on your vlog. I am so grateful, I really am. I really hope you like the villain's cap that I've sent you. And also the few extra goodies. I speak to you very soon. Thanks again, Joe. P.S. There's two bars of chocolate in there this time so Matthew doesn't have to share his haha -ha enjoy yes Matthew if you watched the other week boyfriend st like he, he started eating that chocolate she sent us a little bar of chocolate um and he just wouldn't like he nearly went through the whole thing I was like Matthew it's only a little bar so this time she sent us a bar each which is hilarious he's actually gone out now um him and his brother have gone out for our friend um Shane's birthday um, and I feel really bad not going out, but you guys know that I'm not the party animal. And like, Shane was in my vlog the other week, um, he came with us to Beauty and the Beast. Um, when we were younger, we all did used to kind of go out on a couple of more nights and nights out and stuff, like drinking and stuff. But I'm actually intolerant to alcohol, so I don't drink alcohol um, anymore. Um, I used to when I was younger, like I was never much of a party animal, but for his birthday, um, They've decided he's decided he wants to go out drinking and Matthew and his brother have gone out but I just I just not interested in nights out I know that I know I sound like a right old prude but anyway so I'm taxiing them so I've drove them there and I'm picking them up in a couple of hours as well which is great but um that's the price for not going out or for not drinking I'm the taxi so anyway Matthew's not here to show him the chocolate but I will show him in the morning when he's awake and yeah or I'll show him when, when he gets back Oh my god, I can see it already and I'm I'm loving the colours. I said I wanted pastels, that like you guys know I like pastel. Oh my god, it's pink and it's purple. Oh my god, I actually really love it, I really do. It's got Yago on it, um, Flotsam and Jetsam and Lucifer and then it says villains on it. I said to her um, that we should do like, if, if you uh, follow along on my Disney hauls, my last competition question was what's your favourite villain's sidekick? And then it just got me thinking reading everyone's answers, like all the little villain sidekicks. So I said let's do like villains but do the sidekicks. And look what she's done! How, like this, this is really good. I love the purple and the pink because the pastel, it's right up my street those colours. Like I'm going to wear this. And then... Look, it's got Flotsam and Jetsam, Yago, and the, how much does that actually look like Yago, please? And then Lucifer there, and it says Villains, and I love the colours, honestly, I do, I absolutely, I mean, oh, it's one of them as well. Oh, I prefer them, because they're so much easier to, like, put on your head. Oh my god, I'm going to have to put it on. Okay, I've got no makeup on. Actually, that's a really comfortable cap. It's like really, um, like the fabric's really like, like, like thin and soft. Like it would be, it wouldn't be too hot in the sun. Oh my god, I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh my god, I honestly really do. Thank you so much, Joe. Okay. Oh my god, she's wrapped everything in um frozen paper. Like everything's proper wrapped. Oh, Joe, you didn't have to do this. I feel really bad when people do this for me. I mean, I'm just me. You don't have to go to any effort for me. I always feel really weird as well, because it's like, I feel like it's like Christmas because I'm opening presents, but I haven't, it's not Christmas and I haven't done anything to deserve them. So it's such a nice feeling, but it's really weird at the same time. Oh, I actually already have this Joe. But I don't mind having another one because I have used my other one. So she said that she got me and Matthew some treats. Um, so these are like dairy free and egg free and stuff. Which is like me and Matthew are like plant based um, food. Oh my god these look so tasty. I love Tiffins. Like I can't tell you how much I love little Tiffin cakes. 
and this is ginger and I love ginger. Oh, the chocolate orange, right? So she sent us, this is the bar that last time, if you watch um, the other week, when I was opening the shoes, Matthew pretty much ate the whole bar in a couple of seconds. I was like, Matthew, like, it's clearly expensive chocolate because it's little. Don't just eat it all. So she sent us one each. So this is chocolate milk orange and it's dairy free. So I'm guessing this is the other one. Oh, she sent us chocolate milk orange for both of them. So that I don't have to share with Matthew because he's a chocolate fiend. So Matthew's got one and I've got one. Thank you, Joe. <laughs> he's gonna be so chuffed when he gets in, bless him. Oh, she sent me more of the little Emery boards. So she sent me some Minnie Mouse Emery boards last time. And she sent me some Tinkerbell ones. They're so cute. Oh, I'm gonna have to show you them. How nice are they? Joe, thank you so much. I always say, guys, that you don't have to send me anything. And this is so nice as well after the day I've had with, like, appointments and just, like, just a lot of stress this week. Just trying to, like, sort... Like, I've been really happy that I've finished uni and I'm in a really great mood. But um, I've had a lot on, like, today especially, like, appointments and stuff. So this was really nice when I came in and there was a package. It's just, oh, Joe, thank you. Honestly, you've made my day. I'm going to sit down with me cup of tea. And I'm going to have a ginger tiffin, which I shouldn't because I'm trying to be good, but I'm going to have one. I get messages of people every day saying they look forward to seeing... God, I just pooped me pants, me sister's ringing us. Okay, guys, if it's a bit darker in here, I hope it's not too dark. Um, it's actually been about two, possibly even three hours since Alex spoke to you. I can't remember what time I was speaking to you, but it's now 20 to 12. Basically, my sister rang us. I think you might have seen that. But my sister rang me, and she's a bit worried because she's heavily pregnant. So I've literally just been on the phone to her since I last spoke to you. Um, I haven't really spoke to her as much as I would like to the last few days, just because I've been busy catching up on things. And she did have to go to A&E &E, um, last night. Like, nothing's wrong. Um, she just had a pain. It just turned out that the baby was sticking his foot in our rib or something. I don't know. So anyway, yeah, I've been on the phone to my sister. Um, like I said earlier, I'm going around hers tomorrow to help her sort out um, the baby's room and stuff. So we'll just talk about that. I think we're going to go to Ikea. She's after some furniture. So like nothing serious. I've just been on the phone to my sister for a few hours. So yeah, I can't remember what I was saying to you. I, was, I think I was saying thank you, Joe, for sending me all this amazing stuff. Like, thank you so much. It's amazing. Um, I haven't had the night I was planning. I was planning to have a cup of tea and have one of my ginger tiffins and that was at like 9 o'clock or something, 10 o'clock. And now it's like nearly 12 o'clock and I'm so tired because I've been on the phone and oh my god, I'm normally in bed by now. So, yeah. Sorry about that guys, but at least we got to open the package before my sister rang. So I'm gonna get to bed, but I just want to say, Joe, thank you so much for all this amazing stuff. Honestly, I love it. I love this cap so much and yeah please go and check out magical dreams inc on instagram she's she's such a lovely person and she's very accommodating and um, if you have an idea for a bag or shoes or a hat just drop her a message um yeah she's amazing so i definitely highly recommend her but i'm gonna just kind of chill out for a bit now because i'm so tired and i really just want to go to bed i'm gonna just have a cup of tea and i'll catch up with you guys in the morning Night. Hey guys, it's Saturday. I hope you can hear me because I've got my car on. Um, all I've done is I didn't feel very good this morning because I stayed up late last night. So I feel a bit crappy today. Like it affects my ME quite badly if I mess up my sleeping pattern. Like I said, I've come through to see my sister and I'm going to go over hers for the rest of the day and help her organise one of our rooms. I'm not sure if we're going to go to Ikea. Um, we were going to go to Primark and Ikea, but I don't know if we are because she's not feeling great. So yeah, I'm just going to get her a McDonald's and then I will... Be it hers, but probably the rest of the day just organising our room and stuff. Um, I need to dye my hair and record videos. I need to dye my hair before I record videos, and I need to record videos because I haven't put a second video up this week. So it looks like I probably won't get one up. So I'll make sure I put up two next week as well as the weekly vlog. I always have been doing that the last couple of months. If I miss a video, I'll put up two the next week. So I'm just trying to get organised this week, so there's just a lot on at the minute. And I don't want to record a video with my hair being this beaded, so and I realise I look an absolute mess today. I've no lipstick on, I'm terrible. But anyway, so I'm just waiting for my McDonald's order now, and then I'm going to go around my sister's. Hiya. Hiya. Yeah. Sorry about your way. It's okay. Thank, Thank you. you. I don't know if you guys can tell, it's not coming across on camera, 
but it's raining so heavy and it's so loud in here. So I don't know if you can tell behind me, I'm having to shout because the rain's really loud. But I'm in a bay now, you know when you go to McDonald's and you get sent to a bay to wait for food? I'm in a bay now and I've got my food and there's cars behind me chewing to get into the drive through So I can't reverse out, so I'm stuck in this bay. Okay guys, I've got some explaining to do. It's actually Sunday now, so I think the last time I spoke to you was yesterday and it was Saturday and I went to my sister's. Um, I think the last time I spoke to you was when I was waiting for my McDonald's. Um, I mean, I got my McDonald's and it was very tasty. And I, um, I was going to my sister's because she, well I was one, going to see her and two, she not long moved into a new house. Um, and she's got a baby on the way who's due very soon and she wants help like organising um, like a business room because she has her own businesses from home and she's not able to do as much because she's literally like out here so I went over to help her so I couldn't really record very much because I have to respect that it's her house and she doesn't really want her house like all over the internet so I didn't I was literally there all day seeing her like all day I didn't leave till like nine o'clock um, we completely organised our business room though, which was really good. It looks really nice. And um, there's a couple of things that needs like finishing touches, but it's a lot different to how it was. So that's what I did yesterday. So I'm sorry I didn't get back to you when I got in, but I was so tired from doing all the organising. You're probably sick of hearing that as an excuse, but unfortunately it was the truth. So today, um, I think I mentioned it that my friend came over, um, Jamie, to help me build a computer because now that I've finished uni, I want to take YouTube like to another level. I want to get a new camera, a new editing system, um, I'm hopefully getting like a new logo and a new like intro and outro for my YouTube and it's all really exciting and it's just so much fun to like see it finally getting sorted because I feel like I couldn't do it all properly when I was at, U at uni because I had to focus on uni but now that I'm finished you guys know that I want to do YouTube and um, it's definitely something that I'm very passionate about and I love doing so I'm trying to get myself sorted. I also have a lot of other things that I've been putting off, um, just like general things, like things around the house. I want to organise the house. Um, I've just got a lot on at the minute. Um, it's going to take me a while to get myself sorted. Um, just like getting things organised, stuff I've been putting off. Um, now I need to help my sister. Um, my YouTube all needs sorting out. It's going to take a while to build the computer. And yeah, I've just got loads of stuff planned and it's really exciting. But it's really boring for you guys because it's all just sat on a computer or trying to do things um, that's not very fun to record. So I apologise that this week's probably been a little bit boring. I think I've only been out to the shops once and every day since I've finished uni pretty much I've been sat at the computer trying to get myself sorted. So I promise that new, like, I'm trying to get like new um, stuff so I can get videos recorded. And I know I haven't recorded and uploaded a second video this week. But you guys know that if I miss a week, I always do two videos with my weekly vlog the next week. So I'm getting myself sorted and I promise I'm not going to let you down. I'm going to get videos up next week. So I'm just trying to get sorted. So thank you everyone for sending me lovely messages on finishing uni and just seeing you as I'm looking forward to seeing what I'm doing and stuff. So I'm trying to get everything sorted as well as I'm trying to set up my own like Disney inspired business as well. So I've just got a lot on at the minute. This is why uni used to stress me so much as well. I felt like it just kind of got in the way and I didn't enjoy it. So anyway, I'm pretty sure I said the other day that I had another two packages that I want to share with you. So my friend Jamie's gone now. He's going to come back over tomorrow with his lovely girlfriend Beth, who we're actually going to Disneyland with next month. In about a month's time actually, which is really exciting. So we are going to finish doing more of the computer stuff tomorrow. So for the rest of the day I'm not doing much other than getting this weekly vlog edited because I'm out tomorrow. I met my sisters again and then I'm back to help, well I say to help, Jamie's coming over with Beth to help me build my computer. So I thought I'd get these packages open that I promised that I would open the other day. Um, this week's probably been really boring and just like me talking a lot and I do apologise so I hope it's not too boring for you. But I do appreciate you coming back and watching me and just... Everybody being so lovely about my situation at the minute, so I'm going to open these packages up. If any of you collect Tsum Tsums, or Sum Sums, however people say it, I say Tsum Tsums, um, I only have one set and it's the Villains Collection, and then I have uh, Gaston, 
who I added to my villains collection because he's technically a villain and I just bought him separately and those are the other those are the only Tsum Tsums I have so like the villains and then Gaston and he just kind of goes with them and then the other day every Tuesday is it every last Tuesday of the month or every Tuesday I don't know but Disney Store releases new Tsum Tsums and if you haven't seen they released the Sleeping Beauty set and the Sleeping Beauty um Fauna, Merryweather and Flauna, Fauna and Merryweather, is that right? Anyway, they released the fairies from Sleeping Beauty as well, like in a little box set. And I thought they were going to sell out really quickly, so I ordered them online. And then when I was in Metro Centre the other day with Matthew at the Disney store, they were there, which is annoying because my Metro Centre never has in like stock that's released. Like if they do, it's weeks later, which is weird because they should be sold out by then. So when I went in the other day, they actually had the set that I'd ordered online and if you've been watching me in a while you know that I hate ordering from Disney Store online because I hate paying £4 delivery so I paid £4 delivery for these and my Disney Life discount code didn't work and then when I went in to Metro Centre they were there so I could have got them £4 cheaper like so free like no delivery because I would be picking them up and I could have got my Disney Life code which does work in store so that was annoying, I paid more for these, but I still really wanted them and I haven't opened them since they've come because I've been waiting to open them with you guys, so let's have a look at what these actually look like. And they're only quite small as well, so this is a very big box. Oh, they've like padded it with loads of padding. There's definitely not anything else in there. So this is called the Sleeping Beauty Tsum Tsum Mini Soft Toy Set and it's 12 99 So there was a set um, that didn't come in a box that was like um, Diablo, um, the horse whose name eludes me right now, um, Prince Philip, um, Sleeping Beauty in pink and blue dress and there was the whole set but I didn't want to buy, I wanted both sets but I couldn't afford to buy both sets, they're quite expensive Tsum Tsums so that set was about $27.99 I want to say and then these ones were $12.99 so it would have been like 40 odd quid um, on Tsum Tsums and like I need to be careful with my money so that wasn't happening so I've just got the three fairies and Sleeping Beauty in like her um well like Briar Rose when she's Briar Rose in that costume when she sings um I Know You and um, Once Upon a Dream so I just got this set so it's got Briar Rose in it, Merryweather, Flora and Fauna um, and I just think they're gorgeous I am going to get them out because I want to display them but I don't know whether I should keep like leave them in the box no, I'm going to get them out, so I'll show you what the box looks like. So this is the box, what they come in, um, and it's got like them at the side there, so it's meant to be like the, in the house when they're hiding in the woods until she's like 16. It's really, really nice though. So, oh, they look really nice. Oh good, so they're not actually like proper stuck in. Oh, oh my god. Oh, these are really nice. Oh, I'm really glad I got these rather than the whole set. Oh. Oh, there's a bit of stuffing coming out of this one. And you can just see like the stonework in the background there. Can you see that? So Briar Rose is in her like outfit when she meets Prince uh, Philip for the first time. It's just quite plain, but I do like it. I think when you put it with the three fairies, it makes sense. Um, I really did want the Sleeping Beauty in the pink dress and the blue dress from the other set. And I might get them individually. Um, I didn't want to pay 27 or however much it was. It was quite expensive for like the full set. So that's Briar Rose. That's Fauna. She has a really lovely colour of green. Um, they're just lovely. So they've got like the wings. They are really nice. So that's Merryweather. It kind of really like looks like her as well. But you can see that there's a little bit of like fluff coming out there. Oh dear. Oh that's actually coming from inside her as well. I'm just going to trim it because I don't want to take it back. I'm not that fussed. And it's not like... I'm going to be playing with them, they're going to be going on display um, if you had a bane and you had these then that might come out more but mine are just going on display so I've just trimmed it um, so yeah that's Merryweather they are really really cute though I love it how they've got the like the right colour hair as well and there's Flora oh with the pink and the red see people say pink and red don't go together but I love pink and red together how nice is that? They are lovely, aren't they? Oh, I'm really glad I got these. I think they're lovely, I really do. I just think they're lovely. I'm so chuffed with them. They are lovely, aren't they? Lovely little set. Really lovely. I got a package from a lovely girl who messaged me on Instagram and just kind of said that she wanted to send me some things 
um i've always said like you don't have to send me anything and i do feel bad when people just send me gifts like it's not christmas it's not my birthday i don't know what i've done to deserve them Hi Sarah, I wanted to send you a little something to thank you for your videos. I know you suffer from NA, so I hope this can brighten your day. Continue being true to yourself. All the love, Ashley. And she sent it all the way from Canada, which is amazing. So thank you so much, Ashley. I did open it the other day because I had no idea what it was. I was like, what is this? I haven't ordered anything. Um, and I think she sent it like two weeks ago. It takes a long time to come from Canada. So I just wasn't expecting it. So I have opened it, but I'll show you it's so interesting seeing disney things from other countries as well like some of the stuff is, i mean all of it's amazing but honestly some of it's just like why don't we have this in this country so she sent me this really nice tote bag um but a reusable bag and it's got ariel and flounder and then it's got cinderella it's quite similar to the artwork you can get over here but i've never seen this size reusable bag it's not too big it's like it's like a really nice size actually so that's really cool i think this is my favorite thing it's basically a light up icicle pen and it's a frozen one and this is like why is this not in this country so it looks like an icicle and it's got Anna and Elsa on it and it's a frozen light up pen so it lights up as you write and honestly like in fact I'm gonna get it out now okay are you ready <gasps> oh my god oh that is so cool that's so cool so it really does light up as well so it's like can you see that it lights up so it's a really good like size as well it's not like flimsy like some light up pens and it looks like an icicle and it's just got Anna and Elsa on it like that's so cool thank you so much Ashley seriously I love it so she sent me um two face cloths which are so cool so that one's got like Rapunzel on and Cinderella and then Snow White I don't know how well you can see that so it's like a face cloth which is really cool because I haven't seen them in this country so they're really nice so i'll definitely be putting them in my bathroom and she sent me like a second one and this one's anna and elsa and anna and elsa look gorgeous on this look at that isn't that really pretty for a face cloth like i kind of feel bad using it on my face <laughs> and she sent me these really cool stickers and i love stickers because um i like to use them like i just stick stickers everywhere like on like notepads and i'm really trying like, and when i've been sending out like giveaways or like doing trading cards i've been like putting stickers all over them but look at these stickers they're like 3d how amazing are those i definitely haven't seen these in this country so she sent me six stamps as well and they are like shaped like um they've got like the princesses on them and then there's like a shape to do with like that princess as the stamper so like bell's one would stamp like a rose and aurora's one like looks like a crown uh, cinderella's one's got a slipper so how cool are those I might just stand them on my display they look really nice she also sent me a frozen sticker out at like a, a hundred stickers so there's like loads of different frozen stickers in there and then she sent me this um disney smackers um eyeshadow and it's got mickey and minnie on it and then it's got like a blue and a white eyeshadow and that white is actually really nice it's like a silvery white how nice is that so yeah she sent me all that stuff so actually Honestly, you didn't have to do that. Nobody has to do that. But yeah, I really, really appreciate them, Ashley. Honestly, I'm going to go and put them all in their places. And I'm going to find somewhere to put their fairies as well. But as it is Sunday, it does mean it's the end of the weekly vlog. I do apologise if it's been a bit of a boring one. Um, I don't really know what to say, but I, I feel bad because I was like, oh, they'll get more interesting after uni. But it's like, I literally just finished uni um, at the beginning of like the week. A Tuesday, I finished Monday night. I had my last exam um yeah so i'm just trying to get myself organized so please just bear with me next week i have a really cool blogger event that i'm going to with matthew on wednesday the week after i'm going down to london for another really cool blogger event i've got another blogger event as well the next couple of weeks um the, i can't remember what date i've just got really cool things happening and i'm really grateful for everything at the minute and i'm just really like in such a good mood because i've finished uni and now I can focus on what I love and yeah, I'm just in a good place at the minute and thank you for everyone that's been supporting me and sending me messages and yeah, just thanks for watching this weekly vlog, I hope it was interesting. Um, I'm just for the rest of the night going to be editing this weekly vlog and just kind of getting on with things, same old, trying to like get things sorted. So thank you so much for watching and I hope it was interesting and I'll see you in next video. Bye guys.